That is why we can see the gospel in the book of Philemon just as Jesus Christ redeemed for our sins holds the payment of an asmus debt a prisoner and a sinner is an aspect of the life of those who know the gospel it is revealing Christ through Paul's life the eternal and unchanging word of God one story one story 95 Philemon if he has done you any wrong or owes you anything charge it to me Philemon chapter 1 The book of Philemon called the prison epistle along with Ephesians Philippians and Colossians is the most personal epistles out of Paul's epistles Paul asked Philemon one of Paul's co-workers about the freedom of Onesimus a son Paul met in prison and bore him through the gospel Onesimus was originally a servant of Philemon but after running from Philemon his master he was imprisoned where Paul was confined and he heard the gospel later Paul called Onesimus our faithful and dear brother your love has given me great joy and encouragement Philemon appears only once in the bible But the content of the text shows that he already had a deep fellowship with Paul. That is why Paul called Philemon a dear friend and fellow worker and said, "I always thank God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith so that you will have a full understanding of every good thing we have in Christ if we think this way there are people who have no choice but to come before god every time they give thanks and pray there were people whom paul was more pleased with and to whom paul's heart went but we must be careful not only philemon but none of them did anything personally for paul but they were fellow workers in faith for the kingdom of god God's people called in Jesus Christ must be one through God. It should never be for personal benefits. A prisoner of Christ Jesus. Now Paul is a prisoner in prison. Although he was not a prisoner by breaking the laws of the world, he is a prisoner in prison. Paul was previously in prison with Silas, and besides Paul, the apostles and Peter were all sent to prison. The world considered the gospel that was like a spreading disease. as disturbing the world and although they are chained like a criminal the gospel they preached god's word was never chained that is why the prison guards in that prison were converted and the prisoners who were imprisoned together were also converted that is why paul said preach the word be prepared in season and out of season correct rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instructions and was able to say i am not saying this because i am in need for i have learned to be content whatever the circumstances i know what is to be in need and i know what is to have plenty i have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation whether well fed or hungry whether living in plenty or in want i can do everything through him who gives me strength therefore even though paul was imprisoned He was able to say I then as Paul now also a prisoner of Christ Jesus I appeal to you on the basis of love Paul said therefore although in Christ I could be bold and order you to do what you ought to do yet I appeal to you on the basis of love it was to ask about the son Onesimus who was born with the gospel while he was imprisoned together by faith or by age paul may command but since onesimus was originally a servant of philemon he sent onesimus back to philemon a fellow brother of faith in christ and politely asked for his freedom this was because he did not want to force it but it was god's work and not man's onesimus was a servant of philemon but he fled from his master philemon and was now imprisoned as a prisoner but in god's plan he met paul and came to believe the gospel that is why formerly he was useless to philemon but now he became useful to paul you might have him back for good paul held on to god's will to accomplish good by cooperating with what had already happened so he told philemon perhaps the reason was separated from you for a little while was that you might have him back for good 
Onesimus found freedom from his status as a slave and fled according to his will. But now he met Paul in God's providence and became a slave for the gospel. And Onesimus, who was reborn as a man of God, represented his past life. So if he had forced into slavery in the past, Onesimus, like Paul and Philemon in Christ, now became a brother through another relationship as a co-worker with Philemon. That's why Paul again said, So if you consider me a partner, welcome him as you would welcome me. If he owes you anything, charge it to me. Finally, Paul asked that, If Onesimus has done Philemon any wrong or owes anything, then charge it to Paul. It meant that Paul would repay it. Paul even said that he would not mention that Philemon owes him spiritually. This is the same as Boaz, who has no primary legal obligation, but faithfully took responsibility for Naomi and Ruth, a Gentile woman. Likewise, our lives must live a life that repays others through a life of service. Finally, Paul said, I do wish, brother, that I may have some benefit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. Confident of your obedience, I write to you, knowing that you will do even more than I ask. Once again, revealing a brother's love for Philemon in the Lord Jesus Christ. The stories of people who are loved by God and live in this world by the grace of Jesus Christ, but who do not belong to this world, and the story of God's people who wishes to follow Jesus Christ and bear the cross by faith only through Jesus Christ continues.